So that was just a quick example of clocks. So there's a lot of different ways you can play that. Um, you notice that I was doing the melody and the verses. I was doing the melody and the chorus. Um, and there's a few different variations you can throw in. As long as you're still doing this in your right hand, your left hand can do the bass line. But I can also do the exact same thing your right hand is doing. can do a different melody line that you want to come up with. So you feel free to add in your own little flavor there and then when you come to the verses, uh, if you want to play the melody, Lights go out and I can't be saved The tides that I tried to swim against Notice I'm playing the chord with the melody on top. Let's go out and I can be safe. Tides that I tried to swim against. And on the chorus, the chords are E flat, and I'm playing it here so I have the melody on top. In octaves. But I'm also getting the harmony in there with the extra E flat inversion. So here's an A flat chord with the melody on top. You can roll this if you want for a little extra flare. And on the, uh, we'll call this the bridge, I'm playing a G flat major 7. flat major and then a flat and I'm playing D flat major 7 here's the major 7th of the chord but the melody is still on top you can do D flat if you want there's another melody line that comes in when he's playing or when he's singing home home where I wanted to so that sounds like this where I wanted to roam where I wanted to roam so feel free to 
throw in all those parts, you can even just play whole notes in your left hand. Because there aren't that many chord changes, so it's more about what you do with the, those chord changes to make it interesting. Vary it up because the song can drag on for five minutes or so, and if you do the same exact thing for five minutes, that's going to get pretty boring, so you have to figure out where you're going to go with the song. Post some comments and let me know what you're thinking. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. And be sure and check out my free Chords 101 course on my blog.